hello to all my friends out there. So the first thing I made was some hot rolls and they didn't brown, but they were done. And the way I determined if they were done is I just tried one. These are delicious. And really easy to make too. Okay, let me give you the recipe. I hope everyone is doing okay. Okay, I had a couple reasons for making these. Uh, one, I have a lot of lard in my freezer and I had yeast, but I had three eggs that needed to be uh, used up. So I go, yeah, these will be delicious. I can use my uh, yeast and I can have some nice hot rolls to go with my uh, hamburger stew I made. And so the way I made these is I mixed the flour, the salt, and the shortening, and I just used my, um, this thing to cut the end salt, you know, I mix the salt, and then I cut the lard in with this thing, like biscuits, you know? And then I heated the milk and I added one tablespoon of sugar and then I cooled to warm and then you know I had the three eggs that needed to be um, used so I, I beat those and when the yeast had activated I added the eggs to the yeast and then I added the um, the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients that I mixed together and then I just kneaded the dough and I rolled it out into some crescents and they expanded to be really big. So that was, that was the rolls. So what I wanna do is I wanna do some old fashioned cooking. I wanna buy food in bulk, flour, shortening or lard, milk, shelf stable, yeast and sugar. And so then to go with my rolls, I made, I'm gonna be cooking in my crock pot, you guys. I made a uh, hamburger stew. Here it is. And so the reason for making this is because I had some um, vegetables that needed to be used up. So, you know, no wasting. That's a no-no. And so I wrote down what I put in there. So I fried some hamburger. You know, I cooked it. I had only about six, six, um ounces. I had some small potatoes that aren't allowed on the paleo. Carrots, celery, onions, and then I had beef broth in my stockpile. This is one of the things I wanted to use. At one point I stockpiled a bunch of these. Then I cooked it in my um, crock pot and when it was done I wanted to thicken my broth up a little so I don't know if you can see it. I try to leave a little bit in here. I mixed the flour with water and then I mixed three tablespoons, one tablespoon at a time in my um, my hamburger stew to thicken it up a little. You can make it as thick as you wanted it, want it. So um, let me get some. Uh, this would have been really good with some cabbage, but you know, I didn't have cabbage. So it would have been, if you do happen to have some cabbage, that would be really uh, tasty. So uh, this is some good old fashioned cooking, you guys. And then after I'm done eating it, I will put the rest. I save these glass jars. When it's cool, I will put the rest in here. And then, you know, I will freeze my, um, let me get a nice looking one. Just to let you know, if you are going to try to make uh, crescents, make sure you have them rolled in tight because it kind of, also they, uh, um, these are so yummy. Why buy these? Look at this. It's very easy to make. Just keep your eye on them. And I didn't put, you know, too much um, seasoning in them. Uh, I'll just put some pepper on. And uh, 
because the the um, beef broth should be salty enough. I mean, I will put some salt if I think I need it. And then what is really good about uh, these rolls is these will make some awesome sandwich rolls. And then I have some Dollar Tree um, honey. So that's a tasty, tasty little meal for me. So now is no time to be uh, wasteful. We want to eat all the food up in our freezer. Okay, uh, so if you make your food from scratch, you will have less plastic packages that are increasing the price of your food. Um, and if you get used to eating this homemade food, you're not going to want processed food. And it's better for you, especially if you're older like I am, you know, uh, to... Um, I'm going to be eating more beef because I think it's good for us. Not crazy. There's not like too much beef in that. Okay. So buying food in bulk, make food at home with less packages, no wasting, and using up all the scraps. So I just had six, six ounces of hamburger, and so I wanted to use that up. Okay, now it's been reported that there is a small oat crop. So that is not good. So this week I will probably go over to Smart and Finals and buy a big bag of oats. Another thing though is no oats, no Cheerios. And Cheerios used to be the cheapest cereal you could ever buy. So maybe stockpile up a couple extra big boxes of Cheerios. Okay, massive amounts of people are waiting to cross the borders, the southern borders. And they were caught, being caught, smuggled in in cargo, um, cargo um, trucks because uh, talking was heard coming out of the trucks. And so, you know, I live very close to the uh, car, uh, the Takati border, and I did see like about six or seven of these um, various uh, cargo trucks. I used to work in this area, and so they're not uncommon here. But I wouldn't be surprised if people were being smuggled in day and night here. Okay, now I've been hearing some stuff on um, YouTube and I want to talk about running out of medicine. Say if you run out of medicine and you can't get it and it's rather dangerous for you not to have it. Here in the city of El Cajon, we have free clinics. And I found out about them because when I was a nursing student, a lot of us didn't have insurance. I mean, and here we were going into the hospitals with no insurance, but there's these free clinics and we would have to have, you know, our tighter verifications and stuff. And we would go in and we would get them free. So if you run out of your medication, I would try the free clinics and tell them, listen, I, I just need a little to tide me over or the Walgreens Pharmacy, the next thing to a doctor, I think even better than a nurse, is a pharmacist. And I had these this really great um, pharmacist at uh, Walmart, a kid. I mean, he looked like a kid, and he said, ma'am, aren't you allergic to uh, penicillin? And I thought, oh, yeah, I forgot. You know, he was a really sharp uh, pharmacist. And also, I had another one when I got vaccinated, and I go, okay, I trust this guy. So uh, you can also ask at a pharmacy or like a Walmart pharmacy, or you can call your um, medicine provider. You know, your like if I was a Kaiser patient or something. Okay, and I wanted to mention another thing is one of the ladies on YouTube had shingles and she went to the doctor and the doctor never inspected her body. And so then her shingles escalated to be a real problem. So if you go to um, doctors, always be sure to mention if you have any lesions, any sores, you know, if you're really sick, you know, you want to, they, they don't know, they can't read your mind, but um, also, I wanted to mention some things that I consider dangerous, headaches, vomiting, violent vomiting, and coughing. And I went to the emergency room and I was criticized for that. And I said, okay, you know, if you want to take a chance and you're older on having a stroke, go right ahead. But I did go to the emergency room for that. I was very sick. But generally, I would just drive myself to the free clinics. 
you know, I can go there any time during working hours. Um, so headaches, vomiting, violent vomiting, coughing, shooting or stabbing pains, like especially in your um, torso type nausea, you could be poisoned. Um, swelling, if you have swelling anywhere, that is such a bad sign, especially if nothing should be bringing that on. Also not being able to uh, uh, breathe if you're laying down. Um, also, you want to watch out for allergic reactions. A lot of times uh, when people are having allergic reactions, headaches and vomiting and asthma. Um, I've known um, lifelong asthmatics and just, you know, one day that asthma killed them. So that's all I wanted to say on that. Okay, you guys, start thinking to yourself, okay, what can I make out of the food in my uh, refrigerator, out of my stockpile? I want to save my money now because chances are this inflation is going to get worse before it gets better, especially on gasoline. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.